our first ever meeting for solar car, we actually laid the carbon fiber of our car down. This Greenville High School solar car named Invictus is the result of a four year long design and building process. Slowly and slowly, you start seeing like all the pieces come together. You know, we put our mechanical aspects in, our electrical aspects in. Annika Escobar just graduated in May and captains the Iron Lions team. That's now two days into a week long race that began at the Texas Motor Speedway and finishes 1,400 miles later in Palmdale, California. An amazing feeling knowing that like something that you started off doing your sophomore year, now it's like driving high speeds. But their team hit another gear yesterday. With Escobar driving, the team hit 72 miles per hour, a record speed in high school. Normally you're driving between 30 and 35. The faculty advisor Joel Pitts says there have been huge improvements in solar tech in the decade they've had a team. Electric mobility and solar has jumped leaps and bounds in the last 10 years. The cells that the students built their own solar panels from scratch for this car. Today, the team had a setback and needed repairs. All 20 teams can drive from nine to five and they trailer the car to checkpoints at night. The team with the most miles driven after a week wins. Our car, you have to be focused and you have to be straight on the steering wheel because anything could happen and you know it's a solar car that high school students built. The hundred thousand dollar car is extremely light and low to the ground but passes a rigorous safety inspection before starting. Half the team isn't old enough to drive. Pitts says just getting to this point was a goal. They've done a fantastic job with it. I love our team and I love our teamwork. In Dallas, I'm William Joy.